what's going on youtubers it's your boy lb and welcome back to my new tutorial video today in this video i'm going to show you how to create this creative masking transition in adobe premiere pro there is no other plugin that you create so okay now let's get a jump on it guys as you see here in my premiere pro i have two different footages this is the first one and this is the second one so the things i'm going to do i have to move this blue line here on the first flame of my second clip i have to hold the shift on your keyboard and then move this blue line and then you drop it here on this first flame of my second clip and then hold the art on your keyboard and then duplicate this second clip okay so you have to click this clip on the top and then light click on it click here on add frame hold okay guys you see here my frame is hold okay so the things i'm going to do i'm going to move this second clip here on the top of the first clip okay just like this when i play already it will also automatically jump on on the second clip so now let me click here on this layer and i'm going to mask by using this opacity i have to use this free draw bezel so i have to click here on it and i'm going to draw this subject okay so let me try to zoom it well and i'm going to try to draw okay so now let me start to draw to mask yeah something like this guys guys now i have already mask my subject so now let me back here on this feet guys you see how my subject it is but as you see here well guys you see there is some smooth okay so i have to reduce this mask feather yeah something like this let me put it on four for example yeah this one this is better and then let me back here on fit so now i have already masked this subject so and i'm going also to mask my background okay so this is the layer of the subject i can let click to change some color go here on this label and let me call it as forest okay it must have this green and then i have to duplicate let me duplicate this this one too so now let me just mute this subject and then i have to delete this mask of my subject okay and then i have to delete this one so and and i'm going to draw I'll just I'm going to mask this side yeah this black side and then I have to click this mask okay and let me try to mask it also let me start it by here so I have just to take some a little bit about this subject because this background it will it will be behind this subject okay so I have to take some just a little bit about this subject okay right so guys as you see here also i have done to mask my first background this side this black side okay so this layer is for main subject okay this layer when i try to open up is for this subject okay and then this one is for this background so now i'm going to draw the other one for this this side okay so also i'm going to duplicate this layer too i have to put it on the top and remember that i have to change the color of this background side okay let me go here and then i can choose it like mango okay and also i have for this layer i have to delete this this mask side because i'm going to mask this side also so let me delete this mask okay so now i'm going to mask these bricks okay and then go here on this pen tool or this free bro this free draw bezel and let me try to mask this one too so let me just take it a few little bit
all right so now it's done so guys you have to remember to reduce this mask feather just like this and this also guys let me try to reduce this mask feather you see there is affect something so for this second layer i have to reduce this mask feather yeah this is nice so now back here on feet guys as i told you this is the main subject i have to put it on the top here and then this is the last one i have to move it down here this is nice okay so it means that this is the layer of this main subject and this is the second one of this black background this third one is for these bricks okay so let me try to reduce and then let me reduce the color of this second background going on rebel let me choose as bro that's fine okay so the next step it is the next step i'm going to animate my my layers okay so let me try to reduce it well something like this okay so let me try to reduce also so this is the first one it will be longer than other one so i have to reduce this one and i have to reduce this second one so it will comes in this way this is the first one the second one this is the third one okay this is nice guys so but it is also taking the long time so i have to reduce just a little bit okay something like this so now i'm going to animate my layers okay so for this first one this main subject it will comes down to up okay then i have to add keyframe here let me just add keyframe here for position as default okay guys you see i have already jumped like a few frames where few frames and then i come back here on the beginning of my frame hold the shift and then come back here on the beginning of my frame so and then i have to move it down okay just a little bit and then i have to select those keyframe and then right click on it click here on temporary interpretation and then click here on ease out that's right and then when you play guys you see how my layer is coming so but it is coming so slow i have to reduce the space between those two keyframe and then select those two keyframe open up this setting and they have to smooth it in this way just like this so now when i pray you see how it comes that's nice okay so now and i'm going to animate this second one too so and i have you see here this is the beginning of my second or my second layer or just my first background right so and then i have to jump like a few frames here guys okay and then i have to click here on this layer and then click here for position as default and then let me jump like a few frames back forward and then this background it will comes in this side so now i have to move it in this side then like three okay so and then let me select those two keyframe light click on it come back here and then click easy out so and i have to open up this setting in order to smooth my animation just like this that's nice so when you play you see how it is coming okay so now and i'm going to animate this last one okay this last one too i want this last background to comes from up to down okay so this is the beginning of my last layer so and i have to jump like a few frames okay and i have to click here on it just click here for position and then let me jump a few frames backward my background will comes from up in this way so and then let me select those two keyframe light click on it come back here and then click easy out and they have to open up this position setting and you have to smooth it in this way so guys when i play my effect 
this is how my effect it is coming okay that's nice guys okay but there is some space which is yeah this one so i can cut it by here and then i try to move it forward okay so when i play you see how my effect is that's nice guys guys if you have any question please drop it in the comment down below i just want to know what you think and if you have any question comment it also don't forget to subscribe like share and then comment it let me know what you think guys see you in next time see you in next video peace